and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono red aggro. That's right, we don't necessarily always play the most meta decks here on the stream, but we got one uh, for this Saturday stream here. We're going with mono red. The reason why I'm playing this deck is because whenever we had Rampaging Ferocid on Unbanned about 10 days ago or so now on Arena, I was expecting to see a lot more of it than what we have. Um, like just, I was expecting to play against it much more frequently. I've, like in the last 10 days, I've probably played against it less than five times total. Um, and I think that that's probably because people haven't really been wanting to use their wild cards with it this close to rotation, which makes sense. But one deck that I have not seen, I have actually never played against mono red, um, like regular mono red like this with Ferocidon. I haven't played against this. So I wanted to play it myself because I wanted to see it uh, myself. Now we played mono red aggro like this for a rank up Sunday stream. That's what I usually do on, on Sundays. We do rank up Sundays and I'm kind of doing rank up weekend this weekend as you, as you can see i'm doing all ranked here besides the donation deck because we have two donation decks for tomorrow also so i was only going to be able to do two ranked up decks tomorrow so i was like you know i'm going to do the rank up stream uh today and tomorrow anyway we did a rank up sunday stream probably about a month ago ish or so with mono red <clears throat> and it was okay but it didn't feel too strong it felt like that uh, M20 really increased the power level in standard past what uh, what mono red had going on for it. Um, even the like the the scape shift decks at the time, it was still hard to race those and everything. And and we we're just struggling. So I want to see how rampaging Ferocidon, uh helps this archetype. And you know basically play this card. So I'm going with uh, two Ferocidons in the main, two in the sideboard. Because we can't have too many three drops. You know, we can't just have, I don't think we're, we really want eight three drops in a deck like this. So we're just going to go with with the two and two. And uh, yeah, see how it plays out. I got three mana Chandra is in our sideboard for control decks. Against control, we don't really want Ferocidon or Chain Whirler. Especially if you think about Esper control because of um, Othakaya takes those down really efficiently and so does all like the regular removal spells and sweepers and stuff like that so we're going to take out those three drops play uh the extra the extra chandras like play all these extra chandras instead there um but yeah here we go let's get started <laughs> there's not much to do against questing beast all right where's mono red here it is so we're going to be playing over in ranked. We'll play like five matches over there. Yeah, have Viachino Pyromancer over Ember Hauler. Yeah, because we have the Wizards Lightnings one. But then also, um, you get the two direct damage immediately with... Uh, oh, we're facing... We get a Mono Red Mirror. You get the two direct damage immediately with Via Sheet No Pyromancer, which I, I really value that. You know, it, it's like it has uh, Vigilance, Haste, and Unblockable the turn you play it, basically. And I really like that. Hmm. So if I just play Steamkin, it gets killed by Firebrand. I wanted to see if we found like a shock for their Steamkin. That's that would have been ideal. A shock or a Firebrand. Uh, I was thinking that was a shock. So the one red pip up there, I thought maybe we were going to be able to snag that steamkin. That would have been nice.
Nope, not looking good for us. Looks like we're going to game two. Don't have a whole lot for the mono red mirror. I mean, we're certainly playing lava coils. I kind of don't think I want Ferocidon. I don't think I want Ferocidon. So is this a a trim frenzy matchup? Viachino Pyromancer with Pyromancer dying to Chain Whirler. I could basically the two Chandras are like the other cards in my sideboard that I could play. What's the last card I take out? A Wizard's Lightning? A Frenzy? Okay, Chandra's not too good in the mirror. I was thinking like with all the damage like that they have to like attack Chandra that she's worth, you know, like at least five damage at minimum. But Frenzy is really important. All right, we'll keep the one Chandra, but not add in the second. Storm, you told me that too too late, that we want the second Chandra. I know. You play a whole lot more mono red than I do. Got to help with the... If you know that... If you know there's something that I should be doing... Alright, at least not Firebrand, that's good. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh. Please, no Chain Whirlers. Ugh. Don't have lands. I could just firebrand them and then light up the stage and look for lands, I guess. That's not really helping me win, though. But I mean, if I just play Steamkin and they just, you know, bolt the Steamkin, I'm dead. No lands. Alright, so lost a mirror. Hey. 
Yeah, it looks like our sideboarding didn't really matter. Can't win on two lands. Kept a two lander, but none of our draw steps were more. All right, I don't want to face a mirror. That was rough. This is going a lot better for us. All right, looking better. No mana creatures for you. Now we may start getting a little bit too many lands. We may start to be a little bit too many lands. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's donation decks are twenty dollars. Sorry, I missed your your comment there. Um, What's that smell? Oh, it's you. Yeah, so donation decks are, are twenty dollars. Um, and then yeah, you whenever you donate, you just let me let you uh, you know, send me a link to the deck, and let me know what day and what time slot you want me to play the deck, and you know anything anything else about them also. All right, so that looked a lot better for us. So they're just Golgari, right? We didn't see. I mean, they they've got to be Sultai, right? If they're playing Leaf Kindred, maybe they just have Leaf Kindred in their Golgari deck. So take out take out some Whirlers and play more Ferocidons and other Chandra. Maybe some coils instead of wizard's lightning. This looks pretty good. Yeah, they'll probably keep Lana War Elf, but we can also just answer Lana War Elf with little things as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This is like Golgari with like Wild Growth Walker and stuff. So Ferocidon should help against Wild Growth Walker, and so does like Lava Coil is like something that we can play on turn two to kill a a um, Wild Growth Walker. Certainly, where Wizard's Lightning we may not be able to. Oh, so they are Soul Tie with Risen Reef. All right, well maybe we should have had Chain Whirler against Risen Reef. Yeah, I don't think we saw any blue mana. I think it was just green black the whole game. I was thinking like they were I was thinking um Golgari Citadel. Cavalier Thorns is really difficult to to to, to beat though. I 
wonder why they shocked. I could have played light up first. I was thinking maybe Ether Gust though. Oh, uh, is negate. Well, that's fine. I'll take that trade. Take two. Well, I'm glad they didn't just play the Chupacabra first and then only take one from Llanowar Elf. Seems like that would have been the more prudent decision. So that's lethal. GG's. We needed something to do damage. And Viachino Pyromancer was certainly that. Alright. Well, Ferocidon did pretty good. You know, just having the Menace got us like some extra attack damage in that wouldn't have had otherwise and then yeah all the creatures they played all that all that little ping damage with all the creatures yeah ferocidon was really good there um yeah the menace like because yeah earlier whenever we we played ferocidon the first time you know they played the five six and we got the three damage in against the five six also and then yeah lots of lots of ping damage Oh no, we don't get to, be, get to be on the play. Yeah, what? Man, I want to kill that Land War Elf, but I also want to light up the stage. I think I go at them. I'm not casting the other light up the stage because we know that we're just going to be casting this chain whirler next turn. So, yeah, so Zach says, I've been on the, the historic hype train, but, I've, but I'm finding it really hard not to think this curated idea to drop cards like Worm Coil and Dark Confidant into historic is anything but wrong. Am I off base here? And I would say no, I, I'm the same way. I don't think that that's a, a good idea either, but I don't... I don't make the decisions though, but yeah, no, I don't. I'm not a big fan of that decision either. Wow, bouncing firebrand. So they're just gonna let their Teferi die to this chain whirler that I'm certainly playing this next turn as well. Little surprise, it's not a tick up. Now what? 
Whirling chains. There's another question. Oh yeah, with the uh, Steven, do you have any specific songs that you want me to to look up to add? Or anything if you send me like a whisper if you can. For like what to add to the what to look up to to check to see if you want to add it to the playlist. So bad news, we have to pay full. We have to pay the full amount for this wizard's lightning. But good news, with double steamkin paying the full amount, really isn't too much. I mean, I guess. So this puts him down to seven. Play that. Play that. So two, two. I don't think I ha I don't have lethal. Cuz I can so if I had 3 4 mana, basically I can cast two spells, but I can't cast three spells with six mana. I can't cast three spells to get the the counters back on here. So all I'm going to do here I know y'all want me to to go after them, but I, I think it's actually safer to kill the Nissa for somebody who's played a lot of Nissa Crisis decks. I mean, they're they're not going to be able to come back from this unless they suddenly have White Source Time Wipe in the main deck of a a deck that's just with all this stuff, which they don't have. The Firebrand just adds mana for us. Okay. So they're definitely a Risen Reef deck. So I guess I'm supposed to keep Chain Whirler, but Ferocidon's also awesome. So, like, can we max out on Ferocidon and Chain Whirler? Maybe if we cut Chandra. Perfect. Got it. Thanks, Steven. <laughs> Sending all the lightning strikes upstairs was more lethal. All right. Um, I mean, I want these coils. 
Maybe I'll go down to three frenzy here. Alright, that's my plan. We'll see how good it is. This is pretty awkward. So Steam can obviously is like my highest upside for like power. Steam can this turn and then coil firebrand next turn. But that gives them a turn to play Nissa. If I don't if I don't get rid of a land where off they could have Nissa next turn. I hope not. I think I'm going to go with my best play. Ugh. Things too big. Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler. When you see the goblin. No goblin. I guess they wanted to gain life. I'm known for my excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan. Darn it, Lanor Elf. I think I'm willing to do either trade. I know I'm like letting them make the decision by doing that. This but they didn't play a land. So I don't mind getting rid of the land or elf. Even though we're probably dead, it's not really a a time to concede because we are playing Frenzy. You never know. Frenzy with the Steamkin. You never know what could happen. Be wary of the ground you walk on. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. We will not fail. Why did they not do that pre pre combat and attack for another three? Rise, my element what are you doing? friend. was uncalled for. Oh, because they had to tap a land that was good. That was, Let's try a, this. yeah. Okay. They had to use a, a tapped land. The land Did they? You. I think if they don't play the Risen Reef, they don't have to, right? Maybe they found the Nissa off the Risen Reef, though. That could have been a thing, too. It's not going to be easy winning at one uh, if we find, if we draw like Ferocidons. <laughs> Ferocidons not going to help us too much. <laughs> Good game. But yeah, needed, needed the Frenzy top deck. I think I still like only playing the three frenzies, though, honestly. Because we have the eight three drops. Because Chain Whirler and Ferocidon are both just awesome in this matchup. So I can't have too high of a curve. I don't really want to see Nissa on their side. That's the card that is the most difficult for me to deal with, with uh, its ability to continually make creatures every single turn. Don't want to see that one. Yeah, and Nissa doesn't trigger for Ocidon either. Go, wizard, go. It's a Viashino wizard. Maybe it's via via Shino. How do you pronounce those eyes? Via Shino. It's a shiny Pokemon. All right, we're looking good. Take one, down to 12. Take one, down to 11.
Oh, there's shock to go upstairs. All right. Ferocidon's putting the hard lock on. Drop Ferocidon. Rank up. All right, we two and one. So yeah, Ferocidon looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, we're almost at Mythic. We should hopefully be at Mythic by tomorrow. We'll play two more ranked decks tomorrow. I don't know exactly what yet. I haven't figured it out, but we'll play two two different decks and ranked tomorrow also. Uh, and then I have two donation decks. So I have two donation decks, two ranked decks. Yeah, I need six more wins in a row. Or six more wins than losses. So hopefully we go 2-0 here, because I guess if we just go 1-1 one, one with... The, we're playing two more matches here with Mono Red. If we just go 1-1, one and one, that doesn't you know, move us anywhere. So hopefully we go 2-0. Oh. Are we on the play? Wow, we're lucky. So lucky. Need to be on the play. You know what I'm going to do next turn? I'm going to play my 3 drop. Hmm. Thibble Thip's really good here. I guess I play this 3 drop. So, of course, if they... They would have blocked, we would have been able to kill it. I don't know if I was supposed to just throw away the Viachino Pyromancer to be able to attack. No. No. The Viachino Pyromancer just didn't need to attack. I can no longer stand by and watch. I'll protect you. Yeah, we actually killed the Fibble Dip. We may be dead here, though. Probably not dead. We can safely say probably not dead. This is a tough turn.
I'm gonna go with light up the stage. Gross. Let's just play these things. We have no burn spells in the burn deck. I've got it. Zero burn spells, lands and creatures, and light at the stage. Legends over there, so they can recast Fibblethip if they want to exile two of them. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. There's no burn spells. We'll see if we're dead here. We'll see if we get another turn. It's not a good start. You would make an I assume they're going to add mana with Mox Amber, then sacrifice Mox Amber to Golgari Queen, and then be able to replay it with Kethys. Also. Yay, no Runas Blast. That was just a good mill over for us anyway. Just a bunch of lands. I like seeing that. That's more like it. Their auto tap didn't really help them too much, leaving double like green black green black. Sacrifice. They must have another like green black card in hand or something. Maybe another Golgari Queen or something like that. They kind of need more white mana. This is the white and blue. Yeah, that was not good tapping. Yeah, I assume they have to replay Teferi to bounce for Ossidon. That costs white blue, and they have green black, green black over there. Surprised they sacked Teferi instead of the Mox Amber. Anyway. Yes, yeah, Leyline of Abundance works with Gilded Goose. Whenever Gilded Goose adds mana, it would add two mana. Yeah. All right, I don't, I don't think they played that turn too well. But it looks like we got this. Even, like, one Assassin's Trophy doesn't save the... Yeah, I guess one Assassin's Trophy would save them. Block the two Steamkins, Trophy the Ferocidon. Just take two. All right, definitely want these fries. <clears throat> Do I really want Ferocidon? 
Seems like between like Golgari Queen, Little Teferi. They're probably gonna have more removal here. Yeah, we should probably be playing Lava Coils also, besides just Fry for Kethis. Also with Lava Coil exiling too, that's pretty important. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to take out though. I, I guess it's I'm guessing it's Ferocidon. Frenzy doesn't even seem as good as the Chandra's, honestly. Like with them having to like Urza's Ruinous Blast and Teferi, they get rid of Frenzy. Am I supposed to take out Frenzy and just play like take out Frenzy Ferocidon? Hmm. Maybe not Chandra. I don't know. The Chandra seems pretty good. I'm just going to try this. See what happens. Yeah, that's why I figured that maybe she's too slow. Alright, Guru. Take care. Um, no, I don't think Othakaya does not gain life on Feros killing Ferocidon. This could be like too many lightning strikes and stuff. Maybe I should take out lightning strikes with bringing in coils and fries. And keep frenzies in that way by cutting some lightning strikes. Well, I was thinking that four mana Chandra doesn't get ruinous blasted. Why'd they just play their 1-3 into my I have to lightning strike next turn? Doesn't that seem a little odd? The, the best possible target for me to lightning strike, they played into, into my lightning strike. Alright, going with Coil here to try to exile that. Yeah. Not have it in the graveyard or anything. Stop. Sorry I'm late. Here we go. Yeah, MVP coils. We will meet again. All right, well, Lava Runner worked out pretty well there. We're doing stuff. Let's slow this down. All right, so now Chain Whirler can take oh, out Fibble Thip and Teferi. They're not playing lands though. It's only a matter of time. So they got a lot of spells over there. I don't love that. It's 
Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Yeah, they they also Kethis also wins by just milling themselves a bunch and winning with Jace. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. And just with all the card advantage, with all the planeswalkers and everything, you know, it's also it can also just be a control deck. Put him down to three. I'm basically just worried about Ruinous Blast right now. So, like, I could play Frenzy also. I think I do want to do these because I do want to empty my hand for Frenzy. So I could drop Frenzy also, but I'm not going to because of Ruinous Blast. I'll just keep this Fry up. I mean, I don't even know if I'm supposed to, like, Fry the Fibblethip here. Yeah, maybe I should have. I mean, I, I called that at least. At least, at least I played around the Ruinous Blast pretty well. But I don't know if, like, last turn I should have fried it after damage. That worked out really well. So yeah, kill the Tulsimer in response so that they don't get to... Because Tulsimer has to be in play for the second part to trigger. So that's why I kill the Tulsimer so then they don't gain three life. They don't get to fight. Alright, so they got a chump block. Kethis gets to find another Tulsimer. That gets to replay Tulsimer. They they milled over one Oath earlier. Only time. So yeah, like they could play Oath here, but I assume they're playing Tulsimer. Yeah. Get more blockers. So we're in trouble now. That third Kethis is going to get us. Um. Yeah, I guess I have to do this. Because, again, playing Frenzy for for the blast is not a good idea. Chain Whirler has first strike in, in combat. Fighting is not part of combat. Like fighting the two creatures just do damage to each other. The first strike is a is a combat ability. So yeah, so the the fight there, they just both deal damage equal to their power. And there is no no first strike 
or double strike or anything like that. That ability is only applied during combat. It's, a, it's like a combat step, basically. Death touch does... Yeah, death touch is applied whenever creatures deal damage like that. So yeah, if you fight with a death touch creature, it will kill the other creature as long as it's not indestructible. Like indestructible is a thing, you know, with fighting and same with death touch and that kind of stuff. But first strike is... That's just uh, something that's only for... Combat. Yeah, like lifelink would apply, death touch, lifelink, indestructible, those would all apply. Yeah, first strike is just a combat phase, basically. Right on schedule. I've got time. So it looks like they stabilized here. When they were at two, I needed a spell to, to do two damage to them, and I, you know, after we killed the Tulsimer the first time, and we drew the Chain Whirler to do one damage to them. But yeah, very scared of this Ruinous Blast. Still, but yeah, lots of Othakayas. They got us. I thought we were going to get this one. But the third Kethis. Got us pretty good. We have the best thing we can find is another lava coil. So if we find another lava coil and can coil this Kethis. Um If I would have played Frenzy earlier, Frenzy would have been gone. Alright. That's it. They're just going to recast a bunch of Othakayas. I guess the the main. So I didn't think about Tulsimer before, but now that I'm really aware of Tulsimer, I shouldn't just throw away my lightning strikes like I did. Yeah, I threw away those lightning strikes to try to finish the game. But if I would have just held on to them, would have been able to have more responses for Tulsimer. So yeah, I was thinking about boarding out some lightning strikes to get a couple more frenzies in, but actually I'm just going to keep it like this. Yeah, B-Wells, there's... For Deckmaster working, there's a setting in Arena here that you need to enable to get it to work. Um, if somebody in chat can help B-Wells there tell them exactly how to get uh, Deckmaster working. So basically Deckmaster worked perfectly for a long time until like the most recent update on Arena. Um, now there's a setting that you have to enable in Arena. It's in the main menu, it's not, it's not on there. No, not going with Ferocid on here. Yeah, that's what so that's what it is, it's detailed logs. I couldn't remember what it was, but some so yeah, that's that's the setting. That's what's called detailed logs.
I guess I should have attacked first. I should have attacked first, because then if, if they block, I get to go Steamkin Shock. And that puts me in a better spot. I played that too fast. Kept that card on top. And there you go. You you, go you googled it. There you go. Figured it out. Um. I knew you needed my help. Other option was just. Hard, you know, shock the Lazav and hard cast light up the stage. But I think getting Chandra in play is pretty important. They don't really have very much for Chandra. You know, like their removal spells, the hit Chandra are really limited. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just lead with light up the stage. I definitely like where we're at here. We're in a good spot. Hey, Johnny Pot Pie, tier two, seven months in a row. Thank you so much there, Johnny. Saying, loving the content. Keep up the great work, and thanks for sharing your time, expertise with us viewers. Well, yeah, thanks Thanks for being here. I'm happy to, and very glad to that you're helping me out. Uh, you know, being able to do this month after month, so... Yeah, thank you very much there, Johnny. This is just gonna be bad for you. I'm definitely considering whoa. Johnny's also decided to gift some subs out. So everybody get some hype in the chat for our five new subscribers. So, X Tasty, Morrison, Dr. Perry, Rands, Silver. Hope y'all are in, get to enjoy having access to all these awesome emotes. And that gets us to another sub goal. I kind of think I don't play Frenzy. 
to have access to the lava coils? That seems weird. But lava coil is so good. I'm just gonna end the turn. All right, I'm gonna mark that sub goal down. That's sub goal number 14 now. 14 out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream. Yeah, yep, that's what I'm thinking. They have to kind of deal with this Chandra. Which they don't usually have too many options to deal with Chandra. Yeah, if we do Chandra ultimate, then we'd have a lot of spells to play anyway where we don't need the Frenzy out. So we've seen all four Fibble Thips. Dex. Oh, it's you burning. Thanks for joining in on, on the hype, Dex. That resub there for nine months. Getting towards that third sub goal of the day. All right, so what can they do? Right now, Oath of Kaya plus, like right now, I know they can cast Oath of Kaya and Fibblethip, but they also have the Mox Amber. So they could cast Oath of Kaya and two Fibblethips. The second one doesn't help too much. Oh, is that is true, it is September. That is true. So yeah, subs are half price this month. That is true. I oh, forget about that. They're half price till like the 23rd or 24th, something like that. Like another like 10 days. I don't think the entire month. I think they stop it early for some reason. I think. I think it goes for like three weeks. Maybe like the like the 3rd to the 24th or something like that. Alright, so they're going Lazav Othakaya. Okay. All right, milling over some more cards. Good, I like seeing land. So they hit one Mox Amber and a few lands. Looks like that's all they got. All right, theory crafting Abzan hero for next season. Um, yeah, it does have the five sets of dual lands. Like Ab Abzan is a good color combination to be in because you have uh, black, white, and green, black. So you want to be a little bit more black no problem. Fire can't solve. based then. And we'll just finish this out with a couple of shocks and a firebrand. Um, but yeah, you have, I think, uh, Garrick, Garuk, or whatever, Garrick with um, Tulsimer is pretty nice. And you can kind of go like a legendary sub theme with like Kethis, Garuk, Othakaya, Tulsimer. Also, so you can you can just if you're playing like an, an Abzan deck, like you don't have to be super focused on Kethis, but you can just have a couple Kethis in the deck as well. Um, but yeah, so th that does sound pretty good. I'm not sure, not sure like how all in you want to be on Hero of Precinct One because a lot of the there's a lot of good cards that Hero doesn't hit or like you know like you you're probably gonna want like your Legion's Ends 
And you definitely want Questing Beast. Questing Beast is just insane. Yeah, Kethis cost reduction is nice. You, know, you get to like have like Kethis on turn three, then Tulsimer on four, then you know Garrick on five. Is it Garuk or Garrick? I kind of feel like I always thought it was Garuk, but then I I heard a Wizards employee say Garrick somewhat recently. I kind of feel like that's a thing in my mind, but I may be wrong. It could be just the exact opposite. Call him Gary. Gary from accounting. It's been an interesting match here. There's only one there's only one Gary and he's a merchant. Mm. I did risk that by going for the attack there. I don't know why I display that land. Guess I could Chandra. Yeah, yeah, I do donation decks all the time. Yep, so um, I have an, an info panel about it. If you if you go to like the the information on on Twitch here, um, yeah, I always have the donation decks ready to go. So we need to turn into the control deck, which is not going to be real easy here. Thank you for tapping out. Draw a land. Draw a land. Draw a land. I want them to draw a land and us to draw a land. All right, that's not that's not bad. I mean, we have. I I honestly not sure why they even play that. Whenever I have this chain whirler that I'm definitely playing. <laughs> Breaker snaps says Ger Ger Yuk. Gary Uke. See, if we would have drawn a land, we would have been able to Wizards Lightning, the Sanctum Seeker, to take it down. But we get we can do that next turn. Yeah, that was not a good Legion's Landing play by my opponent there. Yeah, so, yep, you can send it to me. Pickle bolus, and I can adjust it. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of different things to do with donation decks. One, um, I and there's also you also have the ability to just um, if you want to just send me a deck for me to like just work on and not play on stream. Also, you can do that as well.
Garyukin. Um, but then, yeah, if you if you donate for a donation deck, I, I usually play it exactly how it is and then talk about upgrades afterwards. But if you would like me to make upgrades before, I certainly can do that. Basically, whatever you want me to do, I will do. It's my turn. Sit back and watch it burn. That's good. Now our, our opponent's really stuck here. Because <clears throat> normally they would want to block and then activate knight. But if they would do that, then I would be able to shock the knight. That, that's just game one. All right, game number two. So Ferocidon, that's the thing. I don't know how, how, how much do I really want Ferocidon in this matchup? I definitely want Lava Coil. Soren killing Ferocidon and Chain Whirler is kind of rough. Storm, do you have any suggestions on what I should do here? Anybody have? What do y'all think? The next set drops on Arena on the 26th. Ferocidon was unbanned this month. I also don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. If Ferocidon is key, Ferocidon's really important. Okay, well, I'll take out a Chandra for a third Ferocidon then. So I had to cut some, you know, I had to cut three cards still from what I had there. So I cut some Wizards, Lightnings. I don't, maybe I should cut like the, like some of these Wizard creatures or something. I should have cut some creatures. With lots of burn spells, lots of removal. I don't really like my hand of a bunch of lava runners and pyromancers. My opponent g goes over the top of those cards very easily. I do not like my hand with all of those. really expecting a sweeper over here. Hey, Jack and Ali. Getting that Twitch Prime sub back going. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to oh, I have to refresh the stream real quick. Okay. 
Not refresh the whole stream, just refresh my page that had the chat in it. Sorry, because there's like a bug sometimes. Some of my emotes go away, so I had to refresh so I could get my hype boats back. That's episode number 23 on the day, though. I Boo. My own Welcome. I have sired many warriors. Fight anyway. Not help me out, Deck. Not helping me out. That's not the worst turn. That wasn't a bad turn. Get to Frenzy next turn. I'm pretty sure I just want to play the Mountain from hand also before Frenzying. I know we could have just like the Mountain on top and then uh, doesn't um, you know then it doesn't doesn't help me as much we don't get to play that Mountain off the top but I think it's still best to play the Mountain before Frenzy. Because if this is a mountain, I don't mind drawing a mountain next turn anyway. No, I... Oh, yeah. For, like, yeah, packs on Arena, yes. Yeah, I, I do pack openings on Arena, yeah, whenever the new set drops. Absolutely. Yeah, we get it. We're going to get a whole lot of packs and everything. So it looks like they really want to flip Legion's Landing, which... I'd say it's probably not even that great of an idea for them because each creature they grab with Legion's Landing does a damage to them. Get rid of that 4 force so they can't really block for Asset on. And this should be over. I'm gonna mark it down. This is our first time to like actually to really do something with uh frenzy. during this league. So out of five games, this is really our first time to do something with Frenzy. Cool. Well, good. Well, we're going to reset Arena after we do the wrap up here. But all right, 4-1 with Mono Red. Mono Red definitely felt more powerful with Ferocidon than before without Ferocidon. 
I'd have to say, from like whenever we played mono red aggro here about a month ago, as I talked about before, it was like okay, but didn't really feel that great. Like we struggled against like those green decks, um, but Ferocidon helped out a ton. We saw that against um, against some of like those green elemental decks, like with your Cavalier of Thorns and stuff like that. Like we we won like that matchup basically because of Ferocidon, uh, where we wouldn't have won that before. So yeah, Frostan was a really big upgrade there, and I liked having them in the deck. I th I think I liked the split two and two. Honestly, just liked our our whole deck here. We never played the Chandra Acolyte of Flame, but that's because we didn't really play against Control, like against like Esper Control. That's which Esper Control is a tough matchup for this deck, but um, Chandra Acolyte of Flame is awesome in that matchup. Sorry, excuse me, um, getting the hiccups for a little bit there. Uh, but besides that, uh, the deck looked really good. Liked it quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's about all to say. It's just it's just really solid mono red aggro, and I have to say that I did like this 75 that we played. <laughs> so yeah, you're welcome, Storm. We had an awesome league here. Um, yeah, there's definitely a YouTube video for Bant Party Bus. Yeah, that, that one. There is um, there's one of the videos that's that's incredible. I, I don't remember which one of the videos, but there's one of them where we had just like an incredible match against a Citadel deck there. <laughs> so yeah now yep so now you can see why that card was banned originally um so there we go that's rampaging ferocidon that's mono red aggro I'm glad we got to um play that before it uh rotated and yeah i wanted to see it in standard since it got unbanned and felt like it deserved a good league and that's what we got to got to do here um how many cards in this deck are gonna are gonna rotate out? Yeah, you're gonna have Fanatical Firebrand, Get to Lava Runner, Viachino Pyromancer, Lightning Strike, Rampaging Ferocidon. All of those are rotating out. Blood Suns in the sideboard as well, and the other Rampaging Ferocidon. So, quite a bit of the oh, and Wizards Lightning. So yeah, quite a bit of this deck is rotating out. It, um, Mo Mono Red can still survive, but it's gonna have to adapt. Like the Mono Red Cavalcade of Calamity. Uh, is still going to be around, so like it's going to have to really adapt towards Cavalcade, um, either going aggro with that or going control route with Chandra Tribal. I think those are the two ways the Mono Red are is going to adapt. Um, but there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. I always appreciate seeing those. But thanks so much for watching Mono Red Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.